Hello YouTube, I wanted to make this video to give a brief introduction and explanation about OMM, which is my profession, as you can see here, osteopathic manipulative medicine. I always get questions about my specialty because it is very small and uh, there's a handful of residencies in the country that train DOs in osteopathic manipulation. That's what I did. So I took a three-year residency in OMM and now do it privately in private practice. And that creates the foundation for what I do as someone who does a lot of integrative sports medicine. And the reason I'm in the gym today, right, this is our home gym, is because OMM is all about movement. And we're gonna get into how OMM can improve your movement and it's all based on a foundation of osteopathic tenets, and there are four of them. The definition of osteopathic philosophy is that it's a concept of healthcare that embraces the concept of unity in a living organism. The practice of OMM is based on osteopathic principles, of which there are four. The first osteopathic principle is that the human is a unit of mind, body, and spirit. Secondly, structure and function of the body are completely interrelated. Thirdly, the body is capable of self-healing and self-regulatory mechanisms to promote health. And fourth, you have to use these three main tenets to create a rational form of osteopathic treatment. What would that osteopathic treatment be, you might ask? Well, one big component of osteopathic treatment is the OMM component or the actual osteopathic manipulation component. The whole concept of osteopathic manipulative medicine is based on palpation. So that's why as DOs we spend lots of time in the OMM lab palpating bodies, treating each other, treating fellow students, and getting a better sense of what dysfunctional tissue, dysfunctional movement, and asymmetrical posture looks like. A lot of OMM treatments are comprised of various techniques uh, spanning from HVLA or high velocity low amplitude thrusts, which also known as adjustments, which a lot of chiropractic practitioners do. Osteopathic doctors also do that. And we also are trained in soft tissue techniques, myofascial release, similar to massage based techniques. And also other techniques like counter strain and muscle energy, which are used a lot in sports, right? Counter strain to shorten the muscle to relieve a spasm, for example, and muscle energy to increase someone's range of motion at a joint by using the muscle itself to create relaxation. There's tons of different techniques in OMM, and you can even create a lot of techniques on the fly when you become experienced enough based on that specific patient. So there's a lot of flavors of OMM, and each practitioner practices in a unique way. And with me, I combine OMM with acupuncture, regenerative injections, and a lot of different modalities to try and bring about natural healing within my patients. Really what OMM is, is using your knowledge of anatomy, physiology, your skills with palpation to sense dysfunction in a patient to then correct it with various techniques. And the dysfunction we're actually learning to sense with our hands is called somatic dysfunction. That's what we learn to diagnose as DOs who do OMM. And somatic dysfunction, you might ask, well, what is that? The acronym we like to use is TART, T-A-R-T. And TART means tissue texture abnormalities. So you can feel when something is chronic, if it's really cool to the touch, really fibrotic feeling, restricted, versus an acute injury, which can be very erythematous or very warm, very swollen. Then you can go to asymmetries. So if one shoulder is hiked up and the other is low and you're having a lot of pain here, obviously that's an asymmetrical appearance in your anatomy. The R stands for restricted range of motion. So for instance, if you're bringing your arms up and you can't quite get this shoulder to go up in flexion, well then that's an asymmetrical motion uh, restricted range that we need to correct. And lastly, T is tenderness. A lot of people look symmetrical, but they're just like, oh, I have this really tender spot back here. So again, T-A-R-T equals somatic dysfunction. And osteopathic manipulation is involving the treatment of somatic dysfunction based on all of these osteopathic techniques that we learn from this book right here. So again, just wanted to give a brief explanation of osteopathic manipulation, 
OMM, which is my specialty, so that you guys can get a better idea of what I do. And I think that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.